Okay, let's look at editing in the iPhone standard photos app. So here's an image that I captured when I was making a film. So I've clicked the image and I've clicked edit. The first thing I could do is I could do auto. So I can click auto and it looks at the image and gives me an auto or I can do this myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo auto and I'm gonna go down to exposure. And if I slide my finger up or down, it will increase or decrease the exposure can do the same with brilliance. And I'm just doing this by eye. Next one highlights, so I'm just going up and down and playing with that shadows, just drop the shadows a bit. And I'm gonna go for a really dramatic look with this one, I think. So let's have a look at that. 16, that's good. Contrast, again, just moving my finger up and down. Brightness, yep. Let's have a look at the black point. So we wanna drop that right down, so really, Get that black in those shadows. There we go. Saturation, make it really pop like he's on stage, really popping, which he is, obviously. Look at the vibrance, the warmth, make it a bit warmer. There we go. Excellent. I'm not going to tint this one. I'm going to make it a little bit sharper because it is a still from a film frame and reduce a little bit of the noise. These are great features, guys, that a lot of people don't know are available on the standard photos app. So that's great. So say I've edited this, but I'm not quite sure after I'm looking at it again. Not a problem, click edit. In the top right corner, you'll notice I can revert back to the original. So I click revert, revert back to the original, and I'm back to my original image. So I'm gonna go click edit again, and I'm gonna move over to the right. And you'll notice over here, we have our stock looks again, like we had in our camera app. So I can just slide, and I can add a pre-built look onto it. Now these are great actually, so you can click that on, but you've also got functionality at the side to increase and decrease that look for yourself. So you've got lots of options there. You can also, if you go down to the bottom, you can rotate your image and you can crop your image. So this is a 16 by nine image anyway, but just to highlight the point, if I zoom in, I can really crop this image so I could have a header for social media, for example. So that's how you edit your photos in the standard photo app on iPhone. Have a go, guys, and please do send me your stuff. I'd love to see what you guys are creating. See you all soon.